Hola a todos. Bienvenidos otra vez a nuestro canal. Hoy vamos a aprender un nuevo tema. Okay, so we're going to discuss okay, another lesson. This is in relation with the, the first topics that we had on pronouns. So particularly, we will discuss possessive pronouns in Spanish. Pronombres possesivos. Okay, so can you give me examples of possessive pronouns? It's mine. It's yours. All right, so mine, yours, uh, theirs, hers. Okay, ours in English okay, are examples of possessive pronouns. So, how are we going to state this uh, possessive pronouns in Spanish? So, join us today, class, as we are going to discuss this particular topic. Let's go! Alright, so we're back. So just like what we have mentioned a while back, okay, possessive pronouns. Okay, so when we say pronouns, these are words that take the place of nouns. So when we say possessive pronouns, they tell us about who the owner is. So it shows ownership, okay? Alright, so are you ready, Mrs. L? Si, sí, profe! Alright, so let's start. So when we are going to identify the possessive pronouns in Spanish, we have to consider the masculine and feminine gender. So always in Spanish, we have gender. Okay, the words have gender. And of course, we are going to consider also if the things okay, owned by a certain person or owner uh, are singular or plural in form. Alright, so let's start. Right, so first person, singular, masculine. El mío. Singular, feminine. La mía. Alright, what about plural, masculine? Los míos. And feminine, plural. Las mías. Alright, okay, so el mío. La mía. Los míos. Las mías. Alright, so let's proceed with the first person, uh, plural. Okay, so we use the pronoun ours, okay? Ours in English, okay? So, masculine singular. El nuestro. Feminine singular. La nuestra. Alright, what about masculine plural? Los nuestros. And feminine plural. Las nuestras. Alright, so that's it. So, let's proceed with the second person, singular. So that in, in English, that is it's yours. Okay, yours. So let's say masculine singular. El tuyo. It's just like that's yours in English. Okay, feminine singular. La tuya. Alright, what about masculine plural? Los tuyos. And feminine plural. Las tuyas. Alright, so that is second person if you are referring to the ownership of the second person. So we are going to use el tuyo, la tuya, los tuyos, and las tuyas. Alright, so let's have the second person plural. So that is yours also, that is in plural form. So masculine uh, singular. El vuestro. El vuestro. So that is vosotros. Okay, so el vuestro. What about feminine singular? La vuestra. La vuestra. Vuestra. Right. La vuestra. Okay, so what about the plural form? Masculine. Los vuestros. And the plural form feminine? Las vuestras. Alright, so that's it. So that is the second person. Uh, plural, okay? So that is yours. So we have el vuestro, la vuestra. Los vuestros, las vuestras. Alright, so let's proceed with the third person. Okay, so the third person, of course, we have the, the personal pronoun he, she, and it. Alright, so let's have the third person uh, singular. Okay, so that is his, hers, and its in English. Okay, so let's have the singular form, masculine. El suyo. Feminine. El, la suya. Alright, so el suyo and la suya. Okay, so what about the plural form? 
masculine, los suyos, and feminine, las suyas. All right. So if we are referring to hers, okay, his, and its, okay, the possessive form in Spanish is el suyo, la suya, los suyos, and las suyas. All right. So let's proceed with the third person. So the last one. So we have the pronoun they. And the possessive form or the, the possessive pronoun is theirs. Okay? And we also have, and we also use this for ustedes. Okay? Alright, so let's proceed. Let's say the singular form, masculine. El suyo. Feminine. La suya. Alright, so what about the plural form for the third person? Masculine. Lo, los suyos. And feminine. Las suyas. Alright, so you notice that, okay, the possessive form for the, the third person, singular, and the third person, plural, are the same. Okay, so what about if we are referring to an elderly, okay, so when we talk formally, okay, so the Spanish for that is usted. So what is the possessive form for usted? So if we are referring to, okay, the object, being owned by a certain person or by an older person, what is the possessive form for that? El suyo o la suya. Okay, that is the singular form. So we have the masculine and feminine. What about the plural form? Los suyos o las suyas. Alright, so that's it. So if we use the word usted, if we express the, the possessive form for usted is we have el suyo, la suya, Los suyos and las suyas. Okay, so I hope you know, okay, you, you can see the difference between these uh, possessive pronouns, the masculine and the feminine gender. Okay, so let's try to use them in sentences. Alright, so take note of this class. If we are going to use the possessive pronouns, we have to consider, okay, the gender of the things okay, being owned by the person so we don't consider the speaker okay so we have to consider the things being owned by a certain person okay all right so let's take this as an example all right okay let's say for instance in english how are you going to uh, translate this how are you going to ask uh, maria if this bag is hers. Pregunta a Maria si este bolso es el suyo. Muy bien. Alright, so the thing being on by Maria is bag, okay, el bolso. It is masculine in gender, so we are going to use el suyo. Okay? Not la suya, because we are not referring to Maria as the subject. But we are considering the thing being owned by Maria, which is masculine in gender. Okay, so, el bolso, el suyo. Alright, so I hope you got that. Okay, alright, so let's take another sentence. Which football team won? Ours or theirs? ¿Qué equipo de fútbol ha ganado? ¿El suyo o el nuestro? Okay, so el suyo is theirs and el nuestro is ours. Okay, my cat is older than yours. Mi gato es más mayor que el tuyo. Muy bien. Okay, so yours, el tuyo. Okay, so we're going to use el tuyo. Why? Because el gato, the cat, is masculine in gender. Right, so I hope you are getting already how to use these possessive pronouns. Always take note of the gender, okay? And of course, the, the number, if it is singular or plural form. Daniela thought that those books were hers. Daniela pensó que esos libros eran los suyos. Alright, okay, so los libros. And the possessive form? Los suyos. Los suyos. Okay, los suyos. Okay, this refer to the books. Okay, owned by Daniela. Daniela. Alright. If you haven't got any clothes, I will lend you mine. Si no tienes ropas, te prestaré las millas. Alright. 
las ropas, las mías. So you notice, so they are uh, feminine in gender. So we are going to use las mías for las ropas. Okay, so they have to uh, jive together. Okay, so if, if the thing being owned is feminine, so the possessive pronoun that we are going to use should be in feminine form also okay and of course you have to take the number okay so it's plural in form so las ropas then las millas las millas okay if you are referring to the first person okay mine all right the rooms are bigger than yours las habitaciones son más grandes que las vuestras okay so las habitaciones so what possessive uh, pronoun did you use? Las vuestras. Okay, habitaciones vuestras. Okay, so that is plural in form also. And the gender is? Feminine. feminine. Alright. I prefer your ball pen to mine. Prefiero tu boli al mío. His car looks like yours. Su coche se parece al vuestro. His school is near ours. So, cole está cerca del nuestro. Alright, let's also have some phrases. My book and yours. Mi libro y el de usted. Alright, so, el, la, los, las, de can also be used with a name or other noun referring to somebody. Alright, Martin's got a nice car. But I prefer Susana's. Martin quiere un coche bonito, pero yo prefiero el de Susana. Okay, so Martin tiene un coche bonito, pero yo prefiero el de Susana. They've got a nice house, but I prefer the lawyers. Ellos tienen una casa bonita, pero yo prefiero la del abogado. The Spanish possessive pronouns are el mío, el tuyo, el suyo, el nuestro, el vuestro, and el suyo when they stand in for a masculine noun. If they stand in for a feminine or a plural noun, their forms change accordingly. So you have to take note of the gender and the number. Okay, so in Spanish, the pronoun you choose has to agree with the noun it replaces and not with the person who owns the thing, okay? El, la, los, las, de are used with a noun or pronoun to mean the ones belonging to. Este abanico compré en Toledo. Ese abanico es suyo. Este boli es mío. Su color es naranja. El tuyo es naranja. El mío es azul. Tu ropa es color rosa. La tuya es nueva. Alright, okay, so this is very important when we are uh, speaking Spanish. So normally in Spanish, the grammatical rules is uh, there is this gender masculine and feminine so we have to consider who the speaker is but when we are using possessive pronouns we don't consider the speaker even if it is masculine or feminine but what we are going to consider is the gender of the noun being possessed by the speaker all right for example i own the keys okay las llaves Okay, so Javes is feminine in gender, but I am masculine in gender as the speaker. So how are we going to say it? For example, Las Javes que están encima de la mesa son mías. Okay, so we are going to use mías or las mías because las Javes son femininos. Although the speaker is masculine in gender. I'm not going to say Los míos están en la mesa if I am referring to las llaves, the keys. Alright, can you get the point? 
Alright, let's take another example. Okay, let's take for instance the frames or los cuadros. Los míos están en la mesa. Okay? So, this refers to, for instance, the frame, okay, or the painting. So, frame or pen, uh, painting or los cuadros is masculine in gender, even though the speaker is masculine or feminine. Still, you have to consider the gender of the noun or the object being owned or possessed by the speaker. So I hope this is clear to you when it comes to using possessive pronouns. Alright, so that ends our lesson for today on possessive pronouns. So I hope you learned something and you will be able to apply when you are going to speak uh, the language, the Spanish language. Muchas gracias a todos. Alright, so that's all for today. Hasta luego. Adios. Ciao. Adios.